Gregory Greg Rusitsky is a British-Canadian former tennis player who turned professional in 1991 and played until his retirement on April 7, 2007, at the age of 33. He represented Canada in the early years of his career, before changing to the United Kingdom in June 1995. He was British number 1 in 1997 and again in 1999 and reached the ATP ranking of world number 4 for periods from October 6, 1997 to October 12, 1997 and from May 25, 1998 to June 21, 1998. He reached the US Open final in 1997 and received the BBC Sports Personality of the Year award in the same year. Personal life: Rosedsky was born in Montreal, Quebec. Canada to an English mother and a German-born father of Polish or Euro-Ukrainian descent. He was a very promising junior player in Canada in the 1980s and subsequently caused some anger in Canada when he decided to adopt British citizenship and play for Britain in 1995. Rosedsky had been with his wife Lucy Connor since 1991, when they met while he was competing in a junior tournament where she was a ball girl. They married in a Roman Catholic ceremony at Dowie Abbey in West Berkshire in December 1999. They have two children, a daughter born in 2006 and a son born in 2009. Rosedsky is also an Arsenal football supporter. Career Rosedsky's first career singles tournament title was at the Hall of Fame Championship in Newport, Rhode Island in 1993. Rosedsky reached the singles final of the U.S. Open in 1997, where he lost to Pat Rafter in four sets. He also won the BBC Sports Personality of the Year award. In 1998, Tim Henman eclipsed Rosedsky as Britain's number one tennis player. Rosedsky, however, won the Grand Slam Cup in 1999. Rosedsky was defeated in the second round of Wimbledon in 2005 by Joachim Johansson of Sweden, 6 a Euro 7, 6 a Euro 3, 4 a Euro 6, 6 a Euro 7. Following that disappointment, Rosedsky had a successful July. He defended his title at the Hall of Fame Championship, defeating Vince Badia in the final. This was the first time he had successfully defended a title and the third time he had won the championship. He then reached the semi-finals at both the RCA Championships in Indianapolis, losing to Taylor Dent, and the Canada Masters Tournament in Montreal, losing to Andre Agassi. Towards the end of 2005, Rosedsky's ranking had risen to the high 30s. A poor end to the year by Henman almost allowed Rosedsky to overtake him as British number one again. However, a defeat for Rusitsky in the first round of the Challenger event in Dnepropetrovsk, Ukraine, left him ranked 38th, just one place short of regaining the British top spot. Rusitsky finally reclaimed the British number one spot on May 15, 2006, overtaking Andy Murray by getting to the third round of the Rome Masters event. But Rusitsky lost the top British ranking after a first round exit at Wimbledon. On April 7, 2007, Rosedsky officially retired from tennis after partnering with Jamie Murray to a doubles victory over the Netherlands in a Davis Cup match, a result which gave Great Britain a winning 3 0 0 lead in the tie. He announced his retirement immediately after the win during a live interview with Sue Barker on BBC television. Rosedsky has stayed involved with professional tennis in his retirement, and currently works for the Lawn Tennis Association as a talent and performance ambassador. Rosedsky held the record for fastest serve at 149 miles per hour until Andy Roddick broke it. On January 25, 2009, Rosedsky announced a shock return to professional tennis. However, he was denied an opportunity to compete in his much loved Davis Cup. Because of this, Rosedsky quickly retracted his announcement and is still retired. Rosedsky vs. Henman Rosedsky was often overshadowed in the British press by the more popular Henman, especially at Wimbledon. It is arguable who had the better playing career. Rosedsky won more singles titles than compatriot Henman, with 15 singles titles compared to Henman's 11. Rosedsky also reached the final of the US Open in 1997, whereas Henman never made it past the semi-finals of a Grand Slam tournament. However, 
Henman reached six Grand Slam semi-finals and an additional four quarter-finals, whereas Rusitsky reached just two Grand Slam quarter-finals in total, his U.S. Open final performance, and at Wimbledon, a venue where he consistently underperformed. Neither Rusitsky nor Henman ever reached the quarter-finals of the Australian Open. Henman reached the semi-finals of the French Open, while Rusitsky never made it past the fourth round at the tournament. Rusidsky's Davis Cup singles record was also considerably poorer than Henman's. In Great Britain's two key Davis Cup ties in the World Group knockout stage, Rusidsky lost all four singles rubbers, despite home advantage. Rusidsky and Henman were, however, a formidable doubles partnership, winning tournaments together, and vital matches in Davis Cup. Henman shares a birthday with Rusidsky. Henman is exactly a year younger. It was perhaps fitting that Rusidsky's final match at a major was against his old rival and compatriot Tim Henman, at the 2006 U.S. Open. After a competitive first set, while Rusidsky was edged out by Henman in a tie break, Henman dispatched his opponent, 7 a Euro 6, 6 a Euro 2, 6 a Euro 3. This did turn out to be Rusidsky's final match in a major and it was against a man with whom he not only competed on a tennis court, but also off it for the affection of his home fans. In their head-to-head -head encounters, Henman won 8 to Euro 2. Controversies, in the 2002 U.S. Open, after losing to Pete Sampras in the third round after a grueling five-set match, Rosidsky described Sampras as a half-step slow, and predicted that Sampras would lose his fourth-round match to young German star Tommy Haas. Sampras, however, went on to win the tournament. At Wimbledon in 2003, Rosidsky was playing in a second round match against Andy Roddick. Roddick had won the first two sets but Rosidsky was 5-2 up in the third set. During a point on Roddick's service game, a member of the crowd loudly called one of Roddick's shots long, causing Rosidsky to stop playing the point as he believed it was a line judge. The umpire ruled that the ball was good and that, as Rod Dick's next shot landed in court, Rod Dick was awarded the point. Rosidsky, believing the point should have been replayed, launched into a long and expletive riddled tirade at the umpire and, never regaining his composure, went on to lose the next five games without reply to concede the match. Rosidsky apologized after the match and Rod Dick reached the semi finals. Rosidsky tested positive for Nondrolone in January 2004, but was cleared of the charges in a hearing on March 10, 2004. Media career, Rosidsky has written columns for tabloid newspapers The Sun and The Daily Mirror. He has also worked for the television channel British Eurosport, providing analysis during the station's coverage of the Australian Open in 2003 and 2007 and of the 2007 French Open. During the 2007 Wimbledon Championships, Rosidsky was both a commentator and an analyst for the BBC, and he has continued to be a part of the BBC Wimbledon team. He also had done some acting, appearing in an episode of Miss Marple as a tennis star. In 2008, he appeared as a contestant on the reality TV shows Dancing on Ice and Beat the Star. Sky Sports contracted him to provide analysis for the 2008 U.S. Open alongside former British tennis player Annabelle Croft. Rosidsky now provides commentary and analysis on the BBC's Wimbledon coverage. He also provides commentary and analysis on British Eurosport for the French Open and Sky Sports for the U.S. Open. Major Finals, Grand Slam Finals, Singles, 1, Masters Series Finals, Singles, 2, Career Finals, Singles, 27, Doubles, 5, Singles Performance Timeline, Key, 1 Tournament, or Reached Final, Semi-Final, Quarter-Final, Round 4, 3, 2, 1, Competed at a round-robin stage, Lost in Qualification Round, Absent from Tournament Event, Played in a Davis Cup Zonal Group or Playoff, Won a Bronze, Silver or gold medal at the Olympics. A downgraded Masters Series slash 1000 tournament. Or a tournament that was not held in a given year. To avoid confusion and double counting, these charts are updated either at the conclusion of a tournament, 
or when the player's participation in the tournament has ended. When this event was held in Stockholm through 1994, Essen in 1995, and Stuttgart from 1996 through 2001. To recede Sky was granted British citizenship in June 1995. References External links Greg Rusidsky at the Association of Tennis Professionals, Greg Rusidsky at the International Tennis Federation, Greg Rusidsky at the Davis Cup, BBC Sport Euro Greg Rusidsky Profile, Greg Rusidsky at the Internet Movie Database.